Hi there, and welcome back to our reassembly series. The series where we are going to put 16 ships head-to-head -head every week in a fight for absolutely no prize, except for bragging rights, which, you know, they're important too. But <laughs> other than that, not too much. Okay, well, this week's rules are going to be no fly command modules. All faction parts are allowed except for Tinkerel guns and nukes. Uh, the max P you can have is 2,636. Thank you, Random Number Generator, for that oddly specific number. The minimum P is going to be 1,362. The uh, P of the ships battling will be around the same, and you're not allowed to make a spinner ship. Okay, with all that in mind, we have the ships for the week, and we're just going to go ahead and jump into it. So, let's see, who do we have battling first? We have the Mini Capital and the Meatball. Okay, so the Meatball has a couple of, I believe those, yep, they've got a couple of drones and a whole bunch of guided missiles. And same thing with the Mini Capital ship, with a good mix of the guided missiles and drones. They both have, the Mini Capital has two shields, as the and the Meatball has four. And so they're just pounding away each other. Looks like the mini capital is really being the meatball. Okay, and jump on into round two. Okay, let's see. They're both shooting out their initial rate waves of drones, and now they're in missile range. Okay, they're both tearing each other up. The shields have gone down on the mini capital on the front. Two th all shields are down on the meatball. Okay, most shields are down on the mini capital, but meatball's taking a lot of damage from those cannons up front from uh, the mini capital. And mini capital wins the round. Okay, well, let's see, what do we have next? We have the Eagle Ray, and, uh, no, yeah, the Eagle Ray and the Stingray. Okay, so, we have one that is color Christmas colored, which is the Stingray, and he is shooting out a whole bunch of guided missiles, and has no shields, so relying strictly on armor, and is quite mobile, and then for the Eagle Ray, he has, I believe, five shields, and is shooting out a whole bunch of guided missiles. And let's see, what other weapons does he have on there? Okay, they're going into round two. Just sent out their first flurry of guided missiles. And the drones ha have just reached Eagle Ray. They're tearing away at those shields. Okay, first shield's gone on Eagle Ray. We have Stingray, which decided to screw him out. I'm going to leave the screen. And Eagle Ray wins again. Okay, we're in round three of Stingray and Eagle Ray, and they just rammed each other immediately. Eagle Ray wins. <laughs> okay, for our next round, we have a Long Range Scout and Blaze It. Okay, um, Blaze It has a couple of spinal mounted laser guns and also a couple of the guided missiles. The Long Range Scout has a couple of spinal mounted um, laser weapons as well. And also the uh, two shields on the front, and also a couple of guided missiles. Okay, so let's see what's going on in this battle. Okay, so Blaze is sneaking up from behind on Long Range Scout and is just pounding away its missiles at it. Looks like Long Range Scout is just spinning out of control. He's just freaking out. We're not sure what's going on with him. Seems like he has lost most of his turrets, and there he goes. Blaze it wins that round. Okay, now we're going on to the Beetle Mark II and the Fighter. So, this one is going to be two fighters against the Beetle. Um, there is going to be guided missiles on the uh, Beetle, and a couple of larger guided missiles on the Fighter. Looks like they have more propulsion on the Fighter. And have a couple of generators in the Beetle just to keep all those missiles shooting. So, lots of missiles from the Beetle. Okay, as we jump into round three, we're going to see uh, what's going on here. So, we have a large flurry from the Beetle, which just knocked everybody out faster than I could announce. Nice. Okay, next we have the Mini Monstrosity Type 32 and the Heavy Scout. So... They just threw their first flurry of missiles at each other. Looks like the mini monstrosity is trying to uh, find some opening to get in towards Heavy Scout, but instead is just getting pounded by missiles. He's using his defense lasers to ward some of them off, but he's still taking a pretty decent chunk of damage. 
Okay, he just sent out a flurry towards Heavy Scout, and Heavy Scout avoided it. Okay, and it looks like the Mini Monstrosity took out one of the Heavy Scouts, and Mini Monstrosity wins around. Okay, he's Mini Monstrosity sends out its first flurry and is now defending from the two flurries from the Heavy Scouts. Okay, it's faring pretty well. Looks like Mini Monstrosity is gonna win this one. Okay, he's still Mini Monstrosity is still kiting and defending against those missiles, and now he's getting some distance. Okay, it looks like he's gonna go ahead and send some missiles towards the Heavy Scouts. Heavy Scouts taking a little bit of damage. It just lost um, one of its wings. Now both of them are spinning out of control, and one of the Heavy Scouts is down. Okay, last one's not faring too well, and Mini Monstrosity Type 32 wins the round. Okay, next we have Unnamed Spaceship and Unnamed Spaceship 2. Loving the naming here. Okay, Unnamed Spaceship has one uh, shield. I mean, Unnamed Spaceship 2 has one shield compared to Unnamed Spaceship, which has four shields. Um, let's see, Unnamed Spaceship is equipped with a whole bunch of flurry missiles. And I've actually not seen too much weaponry out of uh, a named spaceship too, so not sure what's going on there. So now the drones are hitting unnamed spaceship two, and it's lost just about everything. And now the flurry missiles are coming in just to finish that off. There we go. And unnamed spaceship wins around. Next we have the gun platform versus the utility spec thirteen. Okay, so looks like the. Utility Spec 13 is going to keep kiting while sending a couple of drones and flurry missiles towards the gun platform, and it also has a couple of, um, has four cannons in front for when the gun platform decides to come close. Okay, the gun platform seems to, uh, not want to decide what it wants to do, so it's just going to take a beating from the drones. Um, so it's trying to ward off a couple of drones with its defense guns. It's working semi-well, but it's not repairing fast enough to deal with the damage from the Utility Spec 13. So I think the Utility Spec 13 is going to definitely take this round from Gun Platform. So let's just speed this up. There we go. And Utility Spec 13 wins by default. Okay, well, next round... Now we have Gun Platform running in uh, towards Utility Spec 13, but Utility decides to kite around. And now the first Gun Platform's gone. Okay, so now the next wave of drones has come in towards the Gun Platform. It's chipping away near those gu defense guns, but the defense guns seem to be keeping the drones at bay quite well. Now the frontal cannons of the... U Utility Spec 13 are now tearing away at the generators in the defense can and they slam into the hard barrier in the utility and in the uh, Gun platform just slammed into it a little bit too hard and finished itself off next We have the I don't I don't know and the mini monstrosity type 20 double barrel So I'm just gonna call it 20 because it's a really long name <laughs> Okay, um So now it's gonna shoot out uh, the I don't know is shooting out it's quad cannons at the mini monstrosity double barrel, and it's also shooting out its flurry missiles. Okay, it looks like the mini monstrosity is trying to kite in the I don't know, but the I don't know caught up to it, and that was the downfall of the Type 20. Okay, they just shot out their opening waves of the flurry missiles, and now they're shooting their plasma cannons. Uh, note that the uh, Mini Monster City Types 20 plasma cannons are spinal mountains, so those are doing a little bit more damage than the I Don't Know's um, plasma cannons. But uh, the flurry missiles really seem to be taking a toll on the Mini Monster City Type 20 in the early round. Okay, looks like the buzz just about died, but decided that I Don't Know would be the winner. So, I Don't Know wins again. <laughs> Next, we have the... Uh, fight of the Eagle Ray versus the Mini Capital. So they both just sent out their opening waves of flurry missiles. And we also have a couple of drones coming out of the um, Mini Capital. Okay, so it just looks like the Mini Capital has just gotten within range to start shooting with its plasma cannon. Now it has gotten out of the range and it's just sending over those drones. Okay, let's see. Now it looks like it's pretty much purely drone-based. Oh, there go the flurry missiles straight into Mini Capital. OK, 
Okay, looks like they're both within flurry missile range of each other, so it's just pounding away, and Mini Capital just shreds Eagle Ray. Okay, beginning of the next round, they both send out their initial flurry missiles once again. Looks like it took off most of the Mini Capital's front shields. Eagle Ray is looking pretty good with most of its shields staying intact from that initial burst. Looks like Mini Capital has not recovered yet. As soon as the shields are coming up, Eagle Ray is taking those things right down again. Okay, all the shields on the uh, Mini Capital are down. Now, a whole bunch of uh, flurry missiles from Eagle Ray are going to finish it off. Let's see. Oh, and Mini Capital pulls it out just in the end, right as he ran out of shields. Okay, now we're on to the Beetle Mark II and Blaze It. Okay, they're both sending out their initial burst of flurry missiles. Looks like the Beetle Mark II has a couple more flurry missiles for that opening couple of seconds, which ultimately wins it the round. Okay, we're going to open it up again, see what's going on. Okay, so the Blazit is trying to avoid the flurry missiles, but it looks like it's being a little overwhelmed because there are like hundreds of those things strapped to the Beetle. Apparently that Beetle was very well armed. <laughs> and the Beetle... Mark II wins it again. Okay, it looks like we're moving on to Unnamed Spaceship and Mini Monstrosity 32. Okay, so the Unnamed Spaceship has sent out its original wave of drones and flurry missiles, but has lost two of its shields. Uh, Mini Monstrosity seems to have lost most of its thrusters and is just going into a crazy spin. And Unnamed Spaceship wins the round. Okay, back into the next round, we have the opening... Flurry missiles, and it looks like Mini Monstrosity is trying to take down a couple of those shields with the lasers, but it also is taking a lot of hits from the flurry missiles from Unnamed Spaceship. Mini Monstrosity is going back in again, trying to get a couple more quick hits against those shields with the laser beams. It's already taken down three out of the four shields. Oh, four out of the four shields of Unnamed Spaceship has taken out most of the weapons. Now it's just down to the uh, engines, and Mini Monstrosity Type 32 wins the round. Okay, now we're on to the final round of, the, of these two. It, the Mini Monstrosity Type 32 is now taking down the two shields, but that was no match for the sheer amount of crap flying at it from Omnian Spaceship. Now, we're, now it's going to be the I Don't Know versus the Utility Spec 13. Okay, so we have a couple of drones coming from the Utility Spec 13 that the I Don't Know is trying to kind of swat away, but it does not look like it is working too well. It's spinning out of control now. It's lost most of its thrusters. He gets close enough for the utility spec 13 to shoot its main cannon, and it is down. Okay, I don't know to send out its first flurry missiles, but utility spec 13's defense lasers took those down, and now the utility spec 13 is going back to its normal shooting tons of drones. Um, the I don't know does not seem properly prepared for this, and the utility spec finished it off with that main cannon once again. Okay, now we're moving into the semifinals with the Beetle Mark II and the Mini Capital. Okay, so the Beetle Mark II is sending a metric crap ton of missiles, but that does not work well against the Mini Capital. Okay, so now they're rushing again. The Mini Capital has all of its shields, and before it even loses one, Mini Capital wins again. Okay, next we have the Utility Spec 13 versus the Unnamed Spaceship. I'm just going to call it the Pink Donut. I don't know why. Okay, the uh, unnamed spaceship has just lost two of its shields. The uh, Utility Spec 13 wins the round. Okay, the Utility Spec 13 is now rushing in with its drones and its little bit of missiles. The thing that's really setting the Utility Spec 13 ahead of the unnamed spaceship is its sheer amount of maneuverability is, and its defense lasers is helping beat all of the drones and stuff from unnamed spaceship. Okay, so now we're moving on to the finals with Utility Spec 13 and Mini Capital. Okay, so it looks like they're both just kind of, you know, messing around in the edges of the arena, throwing out their drones and missiles at each other, and Utility Spec 13 hits them with that main cannon, and it is down. Okay, well, now they're rushing in, Utility Spec 13 making use of that main long-range cannon there. All the shields are down, and Utility Spec is going to be your winner for this week. Well, thank you all for watching. Next week's rules are going to be appearing on screen right about now. So if you guys would like to see your ships featured in next week, um, please follow the instructions in the description below, and we will make sure to get you guys in next week's competition. 
Well, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe to continue getting back to the basics. And if you like this video, why don't you check out some of our other videos, which should be popping up uh, there and there. And then there's a big button in the middle, so make sure to hit that one. And uh, have a wonderful day.